guys, so today we have our first uh, port of call, which is Puerto Vallarta, and we're going to get, get on, on land in a minute and go to the tequila factory and see the city highlights of Puerto Vallarta, and you see a little bit in the back. It's really warm. It's feeling, it's starting to feel pretty hot right now, but I love it, and so does this guy here. <laughs> So yeah, we'll show you a little bit and I'm excited to be here in Mexico. Condominiums. Uh, if you take a look here to the first three towers on the right hand side, uh, those belong to the Hiltons. In these two miles we're going to uh, see some of those hotels that you are familiar with the names like Hiltons. A little bit is, uh, is Grand Venetian. Fiesta Americana, and the last one we're going to pass on this line of hotels is the famous uh, Sheraton's hotels. I think you are familiar with all those hotels. Uh, where are you from right here? Iowa. Iowa. Where else? Ar Arizona. Okay. See? By the first creatures coming from the bottom of the ocean. We don't see the whole sculpture behind is a man that representing Europe, Charles Magni. The next man has like a circle. Is uh, the last king and poet from the Aztecs. Is named Tzahuacoyot. And on top is a... Uh, don't go into the rivers, river creeks. We have river crocodiles in most of them. Uh, the safest places to go to the rivers is pretty much by the mountains area. All the flat area, it can be crocodiles, river creeks, canals, yeah. you name it. Uh, this is the Grand Venetian. Grand Venetian was the uh, first okay. company in Puerto Vallarta that started building towers. Uh, the type of tower constructions start with them. In the year 2009, they start building and they finish in the year 2016, see, a few years with February, is the coldest month in Puerto Vallarta, during the day we can go 80s, but at night drop down to 60, 50, 40, anything below 60 is freezing for us, <laughs> see, really, okay, we just have one week that start warming up for us, but it's still cold, see, for us. We are in the latitudes, we are between Florida and Hawaii, we are in between those two latitudes. So we promise you, we guarantee you more than 300 sunny days every year in Puerto Vallarta. I mentioned hotels that you are familiar with the names, but I like this one. It has an Espanol name, it's named Los Tules, right there, Los Tules. It's a two floor villas Mexican style. Uh, eight swimming pools, more wow. than 400 palm trees. That sounds great. And it doesn't look too big from here, but across the street is one of the biggest shopping malls in this city. It's named Plaza Caracol. Ah, uh, looks nice. See, our city is a touristic city, I told you. 90% uh, of the economy is moved by tourism. So we're here at the promenade, at the boardwalk in Puerto Vallarta. They have these sculptures everywhere along the... Okay. Yeah. We're in the right place, except we're waiting over here. In search of the reason of what humankind or so, and he called these things doublings. So you can have your picture given by my home, or you can get it's the second most exclusive place to be in the rest of the As soon as you step in the street where the store is, the construction is. <laughs> that is funny. Okay, I don't have any cash, sorry. 
That ring the bell, huh? <laughs> this man, born in the 1830s, he died in the 1890s, and uh, in his lifetime he occupied about 16 different positions in the Mexican government. Hey, I assume it's a Catholic church? Yes. It's a safe bet? <laughs> Looks pretty. Parish of Our Lady. Tequila and Okay, so this is our second port of call, Mazatlan. It's another beautiful day in Mexico. Can I use the bathroom real quick? Um, it's beautiful. Oh, this looks very tropical. Lots of boats out here. Very nice. So we come about to pass this gate. Uh, the guard is gonna check our backpack. Let me, let me. We're gonna hike up to the world's largest functioning lighthouse. So we are hiking up to the lighthouse in Mazatlan. It's straight up the hill. It feels pretty warm. This is the harbor. Okay. Yeah, it's so beautiful here. I'm really enjoying this cruise a lot. <laughs> if we went off the water, we'd be flowing down as lava. Now grab it. And then, the shape of this bubble, that in geology, but 
Okay, we just completed our hike. It was pretty exhausting because it's super hot and humid here, but I enjoyed it. We had a great view of the bay and the city of Mazat Mazatlan. And now we're here downtown at a little square where they have mm -hmm. restaurants and it's just super nice here. Um, but our tour guide, whose name was Cristobal, thank you Cristobal, <laughs> he said, um, go eat some shrimp, locally caught fresh shrimp at a different place that we're gonna go to in a little bit and have the beer that's typical, that's made in Mazatlan, the Pacifico, which we're gonna do. And it's just so pretty here. Look at this blue sky, the palm trees, the colors. It's just so beautiful. So good morning, here we are, Cabo San Lucas, our last port of call. It's a little bit hazy today, not as warm as it has been the last two days, but we'll see, yeah, we're gonna go on shore in just a little bit and check out this beautiful place. So in order to get to Cabo, so you have to take the water shuttle, and that's what we're doing right now. So we just got on, it's really fun. Taking it right now. I don't want to lose my phone. Oh, there's our ship right there. So we're just checking out Cabos a bit. They have one. That's gorgeous. Cabos is a pretty touristy place, as you can see. Lots of hotels, lots of restaurants. Everything is geared towards tourists. So I think the final verdict is in. We like Mazatlan best. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other places were good too, but Mazatlan is our favorite, and we'll come back for sure. But, yeah. There's our hiking buddies from yesterday. Oh yeah. Hey you guys. Hey. Did, did you guys do an excursion? There's a, there's like a place you can get a massage. Oh. For 